Hi everybody and welcome to my updated 2014 corset collection. Now on my bed right now is probably close to 60 corsets. I have another uh, 13 or 15 corsets that are actually not here because uh, they are either being stored for somebody else or uh, I have them on loan for study and they technically don't belong to me. So I'm just going to show you these ones here and hopefully this video is not going to be an hour long. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start with some off the rack corsets, starting with Orchard Corset. So these are the six that I have from Orchard Corset. The red one and the tan one are CS426 cotton underbusts. Uh, the one in the middle is a CS301. So these are two long line mesh corsets. Unfortunately, I do not have their uh, waspy mesh corset. I think that's the 201. Uh, I will be reviewing that in the near future though. And this one in the middle is a sort of comic book themed underbust that, uh, it just it doesn't work with my shape and uh, it was a sample that they got from some factory and they just never bothered to produce it so uh, yeah I, I got that little reject right there because it's adorable more off the rack corsets so these are some more uh, budget off the rack corsets so the one on the top left that black satin overbust right there is from Corsets Boulevard Global and beside that is a very long long line uh, hot pink underbust from Hot Corsets, and that is 15 inches, despite being an, an underbust corset. And then down here is my Timeless Trends Standard Length Underbust Corset in Spring Delight design, and this is one of their old stock corsets, so it does seem to be a little bit curvier than some of their new stock. And then over here is my Restyle uh, Wide Hip Brocade Underbust. And here you see some of the pricier, higher quality, ready to wear corsets. So on the left, that is a, a floral Antoinette overbust from what Katie did. And then in the middle, that is a, an Isabella Josephine underbust. And uh, on the right, that is my very old stock uh, dark garden overbust. And so the reason that I didn't review that old stock overbust was the construction is completely obsolete now. They've completely changed changed everything around. And that is why I started reviewing the new Dark Garden corsets. But the new corsets are not part of my collection per se, which is why I'm not showing them in this video. I just have them for a limited time uh, just to season them, uh, analyze their construction, review them, and then send it back. And here's my collection of men's corsets. So all of these were donated by Ijap Tezrok, uh, corset page backwards. Uh, he does videos here on YouTube as well. So these three corsets were all made by Creation La Scarpelette, which was based in France. And I think maybe she moved to Canada later on. I'm not sure about that. Uh, and then this one is from JC Creations in Amsterdam. And because I'm Canadian, this is my collection of corsets made by Canadian makers, yay! So here at the top row on the left, that is my underbust from Totally Wasted, based in Toronto. In the middle is Le Telier de la Fleur, also based in Toronto. And on the top right there, that is my custom long line black satin underbust from Sweet Carousel Corsetry, which I believe is based in Edmonton, Alberta. Um, and then in the middle row here, the two on each end are both from Retrofoli, based in Montreal, and so here is my Escarpelette one, which I've already reviewed, and I still need to review that one, which is her long line Azalea underbust with uh, the Birth of Venus pattern on it. And then in the middle here is from Starker's Corsetry, which is also based in Toronto. And right at the very bottom here is my very own Sebastian underbust with the Little Mermaid lining on it. Now I do have some more custom uh, corsets that I have made, but it's been a long time since I've made them and I don't think they're very reflective of uh, my construction methods anymore. Uh, some of them I have uh, like half gutted or are halfway through uh, being modified, so I don't really want to show them right now, but I still do have at least another four or five courses that I have made uh, in my collection that I just really don't want to show right now. <laughs> And this is my Sparkle Run collection. So on the top right there is uh, what I would like to call my Crimson Butterfly corset. However, the name Crimson Butterfly has already been claimed by a video game, so I cannot call it that, unfortunately. So it's a, it's a cranberry sort of pointy bust plunge 
overbust corset. And beside that is the rose satin overbust, which I believe is one of her very first uh, bird's wing overbust corsets that she ever made. Below that is another bird's wing corset, which is uh, an underbust long line corset. And this is made from a really lovely uh, deep gold, I believe it's called moire fabric. When you look at it, it gives you like psychedelic patterns on it. And then beside that and the bottom right is my very old sparkle run cincher, which I probably wear more often than like 90% of my other collection. <laughs> And this is my collection of other corsets from the UK that is not sparkle run. So uh, the top right there is my Velda Lauder bridal overbust. It just discontinued because Velda Lauder uh, unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, beside that, here is my overbust uh, sample from Boom Boom Baby Boutique, which unfortunately when I reviewed, I, I was there's no way I'd be able to actually fit into that one, unfortunately. Below that here is my custom green silk with a gold lace underbust made by Wasted Creations. This was a corset that I used for my uh, Breaking in Your Corset mini-series. And beside that, that teal long light underbust, that is uh, the standard size, I believe it's style MF1331 from Morgana Femme Couture. And here is my current Serendi collection, and Serendi is based in France. And I used to have one more. It was a blue and silver floral underbust with chain detail, but that went to a friend, I believe, last year. So uh, the one in the center here is the Champagne Demi Bust, and it is still like one of my favorites in my collection. It's gorgeous. Uh, on the left here is a, a cincher with um, the fan lacing detail. And on the very right, the one with the halter attached and all the gold coins, that is part of Serendi's, uh, I believe it's called the Oriental Princess Ensemble that I recently reviewed. So this is my Serendi collection. And here is my collection of custom corsets uh, from the rest of Europe. So on the left here is my semi-mesh underbust by Contessa Gothique, who is based in Croatia. In the middle there is my uh, custom fierce underbust from uh, Maison Maginot, and Gabriel Maginot is actually uh, Mr. Pearl's protege, so this is another one of my very prized corsets. And then on the right there is another super comfy corset that I wear very often, and that is from Cine Couture, based in Russia. South America. Okay, so these are my two corsets from Madame Cher, who is based in Brazil. Uh, this one is the Floral Twill Overbust, and this has the cups in it. I still need to review this one, actually. And this is my uh, black mesh cincher, and if I open it up, you can see that it's actually kind of a ribbon cincher style. And this is one that I also wear very often in the summertime. And moving north, these are the corsets from the Corsetiers based in Texas. So on the top left here is a sample from Jupiter Moon 3. And uh, this is actually, I still need to review this one, but this is a smaller size than the original one that I wanted to buy and review. However, uh, it was not available at the time. So I went with this one because it was also pretty, uh, but I cannot close it right now. <laughs> but I will be reviewing this one in the future. Beside it, that light pink over Overbust is from Electra Designs, and that's actually the Playboy overbust that was originally modeled by Ella Giella, I believe. And then uh, these two corsets are from Lovely Rats custom quality clothing and uh, these are made by my friend Amber and so I have reviewed this one but by Amber's request uh, she asked me not to review that one and that was just a gift from her so these are my Texas corsets and these are my corsets from companies based in California and actually if I thought it through a little bit more carefully uh, Isabella Corsetry and Dark Garden are also both based in California and all their corsets are made in California so it should have been included in this collection here uh, but on the top left here this is a simple pleasure cincher that is actually also uh, reversible and this is from Romanticy, Exquisite Corsetry in San Francisco. Uh, these two on the bottom here, this is the Scarlet Overbust and this is the Mimosa Overbust and they're both from Versatile Corsets and I believe all of their courses are made in Anaheim, California. In the middle here is from uh, Stormy Leather San Francisco and that is the Lombard um, leather overbust. And on the very top there, another one of my favorites in my collection is my 20 inch Puymonde PY09 curvy underbust that was custom made for me last year. 
And coming to the final stretch here, all of these are corsets made by corseteers based in uh, various other parts of the US. So on the top left here, this is the Hug Me Center made by Bespoke Corsets and Jill is based in uh, Florida. And in the middle there at the top, that is a very unique ribbon center made by Sin and Satin based in New York City. And it might not look like much just lying there, but it just really comes to life when you put it on and it doesn't even have a side seam on it. So it's insanely comfortable. Uh, the one on the top right there is a bridal underbust made by the Bad Button based in Kentucky. And up until only about a week ago, I had another Bad Button corset that was teal with black embellishment. And I loved that corset, but that went to go uh, live with Cora from the Lingerie Addict. So I hope that corset and Cora will be very happy together. Uh, on the bottom row here, this is my uh, underbust from Tighter Corsets based in Duval, Washington. And this is based off of one of Atelier Sylve's historical corsets that she actually uh, took the pattern from uh, an antique corset. So this has a really cool shape to it. It's very comfortable. Uh, this is my go-to training underbust. I have never had a corset that is so suited to uh, tight lacing and waist training as this one. I just, I, I can't get a reduction in any other corset the way that I do in this one. And this is the uh, summer mesh underbust from Contour Corsets. And then on the very uh, bottom right there is an Abigail 2 underbust, which is extremely curvy. It has a very unique um, silhouette to it. And that is from Sugar Kitty Corsets, who is unfortunately not making corsets anymore. And this concludes my very long video for my updated 2014 corset collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for those few of you who have actually stuck around to the end. I will be putting some of these courses up for sale at discount on my website, so I will put a link in the description below. And I'll see you guys after the weekend for another video. Bye!